The movie commences in the depths of the ocean, where the Russian submarine Sevastopol is transporting a highly perilous computer device underwater. This device is accessed using a unique cross-shaped key that's split into two parts. While aboard the submarine, the crew spots what seems to be an enemy sub nearby, launching a torpedo at them. In response, they fire torpedoes, only to witness both the enemy sub and their torpedoes inexplicably vanish. Shockingly, their own torpedo turns back and annihilates their sub, resulting in the demise of the entire crew. Ethan Hunt, played by Tom Cruise, is approached by a novice IMF agent, who cunningly disguises as a food delivery worker. This agent delivers Ethan his new mission log, assigned by IMF director Eugene Kittredge, portrayed by Henry Cherney. Kittredge informs Ethan about the dangerous key and its potential catastrophic implications. He also reveals that Ilsa Faust, played by Rebecca Ferguson, has gone rogue and possesses one part of the key, leading to a $50 million bounty on her head. Kittredge adds that the mission is tied to someone from Ethan's past, the individual responsible for Ethan joining IMF. Ethan travels to the Namibian desert to locate Ilsa in hiding. A sandstorm ensues, and a group of mercenaries pursue Ethan on horseback. They track him to Ilsa's hideout, prompting a gunfight during which it appears Ilsa is fatally shot. Kittredge convenes with the heads of various intelligence agencies, collectively known as the Community, led by Director Denlinger, played by Carrie Elwes. They discuss a sentient computer entity called the Entity, rapidly self-learning and involved in cyber infiltrations, including the incident with the Russian sub. Recognizing the futility of destroying it, they aim to gain control over it. In the midst of this, Ethan, disguised, incapacitates everyone except Kittredge with knockout gas, then assumes Kittredge's appearance. Flashbacks reveal that Ilsa is alive and had entrusted Ethan with her half of the key before fleeing. Kittredge warns Ethan that the mission ahead is unlike anything he's encountered. Ethan uses Kittredge's mask to exit the building and tranquilizes Kittredge. Ethan meets with Benji Dunn, played by Simon Pegg, and Luther Stickle, played by Ving Rames, to strategize about the entity and capturing its orchestrator. They discover a buyer for the key at an Abu Dhabi airport. Meanwhile, an agent from the community named Jasper Briggs, portrayed by Shea Wiggum, and his partner Degas, portrayed by Greg Tarzan Davis, are in pursuit of Ethan. At the airport, the IMF team embarks on their mission. With assistance from Benji and Luther, Ethan misleads Jasper with manipulated video surveillance. Ethan follows a woman named Grace, played by Haley Atwell, who has stolen the other part of the key. They confront her, only to find the buyer dead, murdered by an enigmatic assassin named Paris, portrayed by Palm Clementif. As they try to escape Jasper, a mysterious item catches Benji's attention in the luggage department. Luther assists in uncovering a bomb that demands riddles or truthful answers to personal queries for deactivation. With seconds left, Benji deciphers the code to spell, good luck, realizing the bomb was empty all along. Ethan spots a man named Gabriel, played by Esai Morales, who disappears mysteriously. Jasper and Degas pursue Ethan through the airport, but he escapes. After glimpsing Gabriel, Ethan informs Luther and Benji that the mission is aborted. Ethan traces Grace to Rome, where she's apprehended by police due to multiple fake identities tied to global crimes. Ethan poses as her lawyer and learns she was hired to obtain the key half. As Ethan attempts to exit, Grace evades him. Paris pursues Grace and Ethan, initiating a chase across Rome. The two find refuge in an IMF secure car, yet Paris manages to locate them. Grace escapes from Ethan once more. Ethan reunites with Benji, Luther, and Ilsa to discuss the entity and Gabriel. Gabriel had previously murdered a woman named Marie, who was significant to Ethan. They plan to attend a Venice party where Gabriel will appear. At the party, Gabriel introduces Grace to Alana Mitsopoulos slash White Widow, played by Vanessa Kirby. Ethan and Ilsa also arrive, discovering that Alana possesses the other key half and orchestrated Grace's mission. Gabriel elucidates the entity's powers and Alana's understanding of its demands. The entity, seemingly all-knowing, predicts numerous outcomes. Gabriel predicts that either Grace or Ilsa will perish before delivering the key. Despite Ethan's attempts to dissuade Alana, she remains resolute. The team disperses, and Grace is pursued by Gabriel by a canal. Ethan's path is manipulated by the entity, but he spares Paris. Gabriel fatally wounds Ilsa during a fight. Grace feels guilt, but Luther assures her it's not her fault. Ethan vows to safeguard Grace as Luther erases traces of the entity from his hard drive. Ethan heads to a party in Venice where Gabriel will be present. 
Gabriel locates Grace and Alana, and Ethan interrupts their meeting. Ethan confronts Gabriel, while Jasper and Degas also pursue him. Grace attempts to halt the train's progress. Amid a fight, Gabriel's enforcers corner Ethan, allowing him to escape by jumping off the train. Gabriel initiates a bridge explosion, forcing Ethan and Grace to unhitch the front car. Ethan and Grace survive the bridge collapse and are saved by Paris. Just before passing out, Paris mentions the Sevastopol and wishes Ethan luck. Ethan parachutes away before Jasper and Degas can apprehend him. Grace convinces Kittredge to join IMF. Gabriel's victory turns sour when he realizes Ethan swapped the key, leaving him enraged. Ethan retrieves the key from Benji, and Kittredge assigns Ethan a new mission involving locating the Sevastopol. The movie closes with Ethan's vow and Kittredge's wish for luck. I know.